Hello and welcome to VoIP Knowledge and today I'm going to show you uh, how to configure email in UCM PBX for which you can use it for uh, voicemail to email and uh, other scheduled email notifications like conference email notification and other notifications which can be useful for email alerts. So let's try and I have UCM 6202 PBX. I'm going to log in the database. So to configure the email, we need to go to system setting and navigate to email setting. Click on client and give your SMTP server smtp.gmail.com colon 465 this is the smtp port number and then give your uh, ucm uh, email id for uh, ucm to use as a client so before configuring this we need to con uh, create a email id and normally if we uh, use any email id to configure it here it will not work we need to uh, open to app password, Google app password for the email. Then we need to set in the PBX. After that, it will work. So let's start with email setting. So I have created an email and you need to go to click on your uh, avatar and click on manage your Google account. And click on security. After that, you need to navigate to two step verification. This is by default off. You need to turn it on. Okay, get started. Now enter your email password. So you will get the uh, code on your mobile click next you need to enter the code which you have received on your mobile so click next turn it on So your two-step verification is on. Click on back, and you need to go to app password. Click on here. Again, enter your password. So select app. Select here other and give a name like UCM PBX. Click on generate. So here is your app password, which will be used in uh, UCM for email password. So copy and go back to UCM. Now configure your email ID. Enter the password which we have copied from here. Generate a password. Okay. Now uh, the rest setting is uh, by default. You don't have to change anything over here. Just change uh, display name as per your requirement. I'm just giving a PBX with location like Delhi and sender you can use the same mail id and now click on save make sure you have working internet on your pbx for that you need to check whether uh, your
your PVX is able to ping smtp.gmail.com and uh, a dot a dot a dot. So this is a Google DNS. So it should be ping. So let me test the mail. You need to enter a mail ID to test it. So after you enter the mail ID and click on test, you will uh, you will have to check the email send log. If email send log is sent, it means your email is working proper. And this is the setting which is required only to configure the mail. And rest setting you can do as per your uh, requirements like uh, email id for voicemail to email in your extension or in your conference uh, schedule conference to get the notification of email and it will be give you notification for uh, conference schedule like uh, the uh, conference is scheduled on the particular time and date so you can join that okay so that's all for this video, thank you.